Bye guys. Okay, if you don't see this live button right there, that means you are watching the replay. If you're watching the replay, please push, put in the comments hashtag replay and to let me know who's watching. Sorry, that's the hair on my lip. If you are watching me on YouTube, please hit the bell and subscribe button here to get more notifications for when I um, upload videos. Um, and we are going to do our Santa approved. We're going to do it on this palette board. It's double sided, so we get to do, we're going to do it on this side. And then I can do something different on the inside, like for Valentine's Day or Easter or whatever, and we can flip it around and use it for two different holidays. This is a whitewash board, and I will be uh, waxing it because it is wood. My wax that I forgot to get. Every time I think I have everything I need, I don't. So I'm gonna go ahead and let I'm gonna go ahead and share this. I'd appreciate it if you could share this. Um, you can share even if it's not live. You can go ahead and share them, and then we are gonna get started. That's not going to work. I don't know why it does this. Oops. I just totally took myself out of there. So anyway, tonight's we're also going to use um, candy apple red. And we are going to use parakeet, which is a more of a lighter green. And we're going to use uh, velvet black. Excuse me. Black velvet. Got it backwards. Okay. Where am I? There I am. We are on, we're good. I don't know why it takes me forever to find it and to share it. Okay, so um, my name is Vicki and I am an independent designer with Chalk Couture. Chalk Couture, we have um, silkscreen transfers, Chalkology paste, and we have our Chalkology ink. Chalkology paste can pretty much be used on any surface. Now, some surfaces, if you're going to be putting them outside, or you're going to be washing them, or putting them in a dishwasher, you don't really want to use the paste. You would want to use the ink, because you can heat set that. So, ink you're going to use mostly on cloth, um, and like ceramic, and that kind of thing, those kind of things. Um, I inked this a couple days ago, and, and then I will take my heat press and, and heat set that. And it will be good. I can wash it and use it and it will be fine. Um, paste is a liquid chalk paste. And what it is, is it's water soluble, non-toxic. When you put it on, it's wet. You pull up the silk screen. These, where you see the design, it says like Santa, all this design that's white. Those are silk screen. They're not an open stencil. It's a silk screen. So when you put this down and you put the chalk um, paste on there, when you pull that up, the chalk paste goes through the silk screen, leaving that image on your surface. It is water soluble, so it means it will dry, the air will dry it, so you need to make sure it's at a perfect consistency, which is usually around a cake batter. So it wants to, you want it to drizzle a little bit off of your, whatever you're stirring it with. Um, and if you're doing a big area, like this one, I'm going to be doing multiple colors. So I'll do the, this top part here, I'll pull it up so that that chalk piece will go through and leave it on there. Otherwise, if I was to go through and, and do this whole thing, this stuff that I started with first is going to dry. So when I peel it up, that chalk is just going to sit on top of that screen. It's not going to go through and it's not going to leave it on my surface. So we did, and that's called a chalk and peel. So 
go ahead and get started. This is a brand new transfer. I have never used it. So I'm going to go ahead, for anybody that's new, so you'll know, um, I don't do it much anymore because I'm, I'm used to what they look like, but I am going to write Santa. You can write back Santa, you can write whatever you want to, but put a big star on the back. That just helps for people that are starting out especially. When you go to put, when you clean this, and you go to put this backing back on here, you'll see that dark Sharpie mark, and that reminds you that you shouldn't, that's not the side that goes on against the transfer. The side that goes against the transfer is going to be shiny. So, whoops, that's, yeah, and they're really sticky. <laughs> See how sticky they are. I'm going to pull this off, and I'm going to do it very slowly so it doesn't flip up on itself. These are very sticky. That's what makes them re bleh, reusable over and over and over again. Now you can use any kind of cloth to fuzz and fuzzing all it means is I'm putting a little bit of fuzz on the back of this stickiness so it gives it a barrier between this and this so between the fuzz and the wax I'll have a perfect barrier. I'll flip this over so you can see. So all I'm doing is I'm putting some fuzz and this is just a terry cloth towel. You can use your towel, you can use a t-shirt, your jeans. You know, call your kids in, use their shirt, use their blanket, whatever. You just want to make sure it's not too fuzzy, not like a, you know, well, fleece is okay, but anything that's going to leave big chunks of stuff on there, probably not. So that basically is it. We're just going to do it a few times. Usually about three or four times is usually good enough. I think it's going to be okay. I'm going to put this aside for a second while I wax this. All I'm using is it's Minwax finishing paste in the natural. It has a tan color so when it goes on it will kind of discolor this white but when it dries it'll dry clear. I bought this. I've been doing, um, I've been a designer for almost two years. It'll be two years this coming January. I bought this shortly after I started, and you can see I still have quite a bit, and I use it a lot. So, this, and this, you get this at, I got this at um, Lowe's, I believe. Like 10 bucks. And what this does is it puts a barrier between the transfer and the surface. And you can feel the difference, totally feel the difference. When you first do it, you can feel the roughness of the whitewash, and now it's like smooth, silky. Silky smooth. I'm not a singer, sorry. <laughs> not anywhere near being a singer. So, like I said, these are really sticky, so it's still sticky, but it's got that little bit of a fuzziness on it, so it keeps it from really wanting to stick down. Basically, I'm just going to try and get this centered. And I'm going to, oops, I'm going to push this down, make sure that it's not got any wrinkles in it. And there was a wrinkle right there. I'm going to make sure there's no wrinkles, no anything like um, any kind of 
foreign objects or like you know, sometimes if you use depending on the towel if you get you can get like chunks of fiber um, you just want to make sure that it's not in the silk screen area or along the edges because that can cause um, leakage and it can um, if you get an air bubble in there it'll it'll come out weird the, the paste won't be that smooth it'll have a distorted area I guess is the way I want to put it so what we're going to do is we are going to do Santa approved in red we're going to do that in our candy apple red we're going to do the little berries in the candy apple we're going to do the leaves the holly leaves in the um, parakeet and then we're going to do Santa in black I want Santa to stand out so we're going to open these up, I'm going to push this aside again, we're going to open these up, make sure that they're stirred up and the right consistency. Now I have um, these stir sticks, little paddles from Chocotour, um, you can use anything you want, you can use, I've used these before, they're just little popsicle sticks, you can use the end of a paintbrush um, stick, you can use um, any like a multi-tool type thing from Chocotour. You can use um, and you can use a spoon out of your drawer because it's just water solid. It's non toxic, water soluble. It'll wash right off. So, anyway, get these all stirred up. Hi, Carrie. As I throw it across the room. That would be fun. Ah, nose itches. <laughs> Get a squeegee out for each color. I'm going to use the small little tiny squeegee for my green for the hollies. And then I think I have another one in there somewhere. Then I think I'll use my little poker tool here. Use this end for the berries. Excuse me, my nose won't stop itching. Okay, so here we go. I want to do red, red green, red, and then black for Santa. Then we're just going to pull that down through the silk screen. Try not to get it in areas you don't want it in, but making sure you get the areas that you want in. Some of that excess off of there. Okay, let's do some green. Awesome. I just got red all in my green. My glasses 
small so I can see. Okay, so I'm going to lift this up. Back down and push that Santa head right there back down. And now we're going to use our black. Just keep drawing that down through this the silk screen and you can push the ink around you can take the excess that's on up here and push it down to the bottom doesn't take much of the chalk paste to do the whole area I'm going to go really quickly and do this red so we can get this off of here. Okie dokie, here we go. get a little bit of red in my holly leaf there but honestly I don't care it's just gonna be in my house anyway if I was doing this for a customer I would definitely go back I would clean that out and go back over that with green so the uh, red wouldn't show what you think and like I said um, next year with Valentine's Day or Easter I'll do this backside with a different so I'll have a multi-purpose uh, surface. Jeez, oh, you're noisy. I know, I love this. Still amazes me how awesome it looks when you're done. It's like, oh. So I'm going to go ahead and hop off. I know it was a short one tonight. Tomorrow I'm planning on, um, I finally got the pillowcases in. I'm going to do a pillowcase. Oh, <laughs> my, uh, live is just now being brought up with Facebook. Awesome. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm going to do a pillowcase tomorrow. I'm going to do the, um, I think I'm going to do the, um, joy to the world. So. Okay, Carrie, thanks for coming on and I will see you all tomorrow night around eight or eight 30. So have a good night. Take care. God bless.